blue plaques. There are no blue plaques in our village, no Heaney or Shackleton or Yates to commemorate. A notable event is the starter motor going in Tom Barry's car, or a bellowing bullock lodged in a bog drain, or the milk lorry clipping one of the granite bridges and five fellas coming out from the council to inspect it. The stone bulk of the mill is what you notice first. At one time it was a tannery that reeked of rotting flesh. In another life a whisky distillery and much more fragrant, until Father Matthew put an end to it. In 1965 it was where Frank Lynch had his oats rolled, but they didn't put up a blue plaque for that. Every winter Greenland geese gather in the Shannon Meadows, Garrulous and self-congratulatory, they settle into the space where drumming of snipe, grating of corncrake, and lonesome trill of curlew once filled the summer air. Corncrakes and curlews are ghosts now, but they don't erect blue plaques for that. There is no plaque to the jowler, murdered on a December night by a young man who did not like the look of him. Given this young man's predilection for lighting fires in the middle of the road, it is assumed that his judgment was questionable. Judgments can be questioned, and worth is subjective. What value do you put on the place where you learned to walk, or were taught to fish, where Noel Kelly lit a bonfire for you on your wedding day? In this village, not noted for its noteworthiness, every memory is its own blue plaque.